all right what's going on guys it is red green here again today finally back with another editing tutorial i know i'm kind of being a dickhead because it has been way too long since i've made one of these and i said i was gonna start making them more and i want to start making them more i just i don't even know man it has been it has been something crazy like <laughs> just crazy crazy low motivation for making videos at the moment in time hopefully World War II will come out and that'll, uh, the drive will start to come back and I'll start to make a lot more of these sort of videos as well as like other sort of videos. Um, but yeah, so I'm finally making one and this is going to be on the uh, most re most requested thing from my last video. Um, basically, what you guys want to do after watching this tutorial, go down in the comments, tell me what you want to see, what would you want me to see me do a tutorial on next and I will do that and that'll be the next video, whatever has the most likes or whatever. Or whatever I see the most, whatever I think deserves to be the next uh, the next tutorial. Anyway, this one is going to be on um, how I do color corrections and kind of how I uh, not not so much how I like how I do like the colored flashes kind of thing. Like you'll see in Jeff's, this this is kind of like a little preview. Just what works when I talk. People talk and I got no time to listen. You're trying to be different. That makes you not different. They say I just rap about women. That's coming from links who just never get women. The best is a given. Y'all. So you can see like there's like purple flashes that kind of go with the song as well as that's like just kind of like a purple themed color correction um, also if you guys didn't see there's right up here right there there was the color change thing i did that in my last tutorial if you want to go check that out it'll be down in the uh it'll probably be up next like right see there's like an up next thing it'll probably be that for this video um that's how i do like the color change of camos and stuff be sure to check that one out i'll leave it in the description it's also in the playlist but yeah, so I'm gonna be doing color corrections, and I'm basically gonna take this clip right here. And it is right here. With no color correction at all. So yeah, I have that clip right here with no color correction whatsoever, and I'm basically going to show you how to get that color correction on it. I am also going to show you how to do like the little, the colored flashes. They're pretty simple, um, not too difficult. Most of it you can see, it's just done with levels, this, this basic After Effects preset, or not preset, effect. It's like a default effect in After Effects, so yeah, it's really cool. I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's, it's really, really easy. Anyone can do this, and it does not take a lot of time at all. So let's just start by deleting levels on that. On, the, on that clip right like that yeah there we go and yeah so let's first do um the flashes or actually no, let's first do the color correction so um usually when i'm making my color corrections and stuff the first thing i do is i pre-compose all the clips so that's what this this is the pre-composition -com pre of every single clip in the composition so every single clip in the edit um and the first thing that i do is i have this preset for rsmb and shake but I'll, I'm not going to use the preset, this is the preset right here, but I'm, I'm just going to show you guys how I do it normally. So I take RSMB, just drag it on, and it's just like a motion blur, it's really, really, um, it's it's an external, like a third party plugin that you have to download, but all you have to do is search how to get it on YouTube and you can find it pretty easily. So I think I usually go with um, a blur amount of 1 and then a motion sensitivity of 75, I think. So it, it, you can see, maybe, is that what I used? I don't even know, I used the, plug, the preset so much. Okay, now. So I, I set this to 100, sorry, and then I set this to 0.5. That makes it so it's not not as blurry, but um, the sensitivity is a little higher. So yeah, you can see it it, it looks kind of weird when you're just panning through, but if I really quickly ram preview it, how long will it take? You can see it's not actually that bad. This this is basically what you saw in the in in Jeff's video. You can see there's like blur when it's going really fast, but it's just nice and focused when it's slowed down. No way, After Effects crashes literally while I'm doing a tutorial. Nice. Okay, we'll all be back in one moment. Alright, so I'm back. Um, After Effects did literally just crash right there. But, I am going to fix it up. Uh, anyway, I brought it back up and we have um, basically basically what I had before. I have RSMB set up and I'm going to show you guys what I use per shake. So I usually just set like a really, really small shake. I do like 1.5 as the frequency. And for the amplitude, I do 0.15, so it's really, really minimal. You can you can tell like if you actually just stare and look at it, you can see it's kind of shaking around. But it just gives some movement to everything, and I don't know, I, I like how it looks. Um, obviously, you can tweak like keyframes and stuff for certain parts if you want to shake more or less. Um, but yeah, that's basically just what I do. And uh, yeah, I do that pretty much every single edit that I make. 
So next up, we're gonna add a new solid. You can do it the way I did. You just right click here, click new, and then click solid. Or you can go up here to layer, new, solid. Or as you see right there, you can just press control Y, which is usually what I do. And I make it the same size as the 12 pixels by 720 pixels and that just makes it a nice nice black black coverage and I'm, I'm I don't know if I already said this but this is gonna be my black bars so um I have a preset for this that I, I use as well but you can just search up CC and then jaws CC jaws just drag that onto your solid and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to turn the height to zero and then the completion just bring it up until you're happy with what, what size you want I usually use like 85, 85% is usually my my go-to, and that just yeah just literally puts black bars all along your composition, which is nice. Next, what you're gonna want to do is the actual color correcting part. So, um, for the color corrections, I you can do the same thing. You have to add a new layer, and what we're gonna be adding is an adjustment layer. So you can just click like that, have your adjustment layer, drag that below the black bars, and just title it CC. And then what you can also do is just duplicate it. So we're gonna have three different layers that I, I use typically. I have um, one layer that's just for like looks, one layer that's for um, just kind of like the glow, that colory glow that I was talking about, and then a third layer that's for a few other things just to tweak a little bit. So yeah, usually what I start with, um, I, I usually start with the uh, the first look, which is just, I use magic bullet looks. So let's just go through there real quick. Uh, magic bullet looks, drag it on there. Yeah, so you go to, oh, this is another third party plugin. Um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I do use a lot of third party plugins in my color corrections, but it is what it is. So, first off, in the subjects tab, you're gonna want to drag over what am I looking for? Oh, maybe it's not. I haven't done this in so long. I usually just use preset stuff and I tweak it a lot. Okay, maybe it's not in subject, maybe it's in post. Let's just go with post, yeah, probably in post. So, first thing I do. Typically, um, I usually go with does uh, is it's basically just for like the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. So um, yeah, I usually go to the color I want. This is gonna be like a purple CC, like you saw, like kind of like a pink purple. Whoa, purple CC, and then you just kind of drag up the little layers until you get something that you're looking for. So you don't want to go too heavy to it's like completely changing the color, but just something a little bit light for all of them. Um, I like to have like uh, the shadows to get a little a little more and maybe a little less on the highlights just because I, I don't know I, I really like like a kind of like a warm purple like purple's weird because because typically you think of like red colors as being warmer red red and orange and like blues and greens are like kind of cooler purple is kind of like a middle one so I don't know I like I like my shadows being a bit more purple and then my my lights uh, the highlights are a little lower. But it, it doesn't really matter. The looks is just like a small little base, and then I think the light flex usually with something I'd go with. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't typically do a lot of it in uh, here in Magic Bullet looks. I just sometimes throw some in. I don't. I think this might be good. Actually, I did do for this color correction, but I think that's about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we'll just go with that. It'll be fine. Anyway, next up, we are gonna close up Magic Bullet Looks. You can see we have a nice little color. If if it's too much, you can always like turn down the strength, so it doesn't really do that much. But yeah, it's it's pretty cool. You can see, you just turn it off, turn it back on. It does give it a nice little purple look, and uh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of what we're looking for. We don't want to do it, change it too much, so that it's like drastically overdone. I, I even think I might want to turn this down a little bit. So we're gonna finish that off, and yeah, this is what we have. It goes from that to that, which is cool. You could use that as a color correction if you wanted to, but there are a few other things that I wanna do. So next up, I usually, um, I'll add some contrast and some sharpen, just to kind of sharpen up the composition, make it look better. Uh, you could do something like that. You could use, maybe add pop or something in a magic bullet looks, but this is what I usually do. So I brighten some, con or I'll use sharpen first. Sharpen is usually my go-to. Just, it's really, really simple. I just set the sharpen to like, like 20 or something you can see it doesn't make a huge difference but it just kind of makes the kill feed pop a little more you can see like little details like i don't know not not really important but it does make like the you can see the, pl the plus 200 looks better i don't know it just it just makes it pop a little more um next up i usually add some contrast so let's go through here 
and um, brightness and contrast is what I use. Just turn it up to something similar, maybe 13, and then just toy with it from there. You can go up and down as you please. Don't want to like see, so you don't want to over contrast and have it be like crazy like that, but something like this, let's just like 20. 20 looks pretty nice. You turn it off and see, it just darkens it up a little bit and makes it pop more, like, I, like I've been saying. And then last up, I just turned down the saturation a little bit. Um, like I said, nothing crazy. Just take the saturation, set it back to like mine's 13. I like the number 13, so I always start with that and then just adjust it to what I think looks best. So let's see, minus 20. Yeah, I like something like that. It makes it kind of like a kind of a little less. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to describe. Just less saturated, <laughs> obviously. Anyway, um, next up, what we're gonna do is add a little bit of tint kind of cool it down make it seem seem a little uh, just not a lot you don't want it completely tinted out but uh, yeah you can just see kind of makes it more of a, a chill look or that's before that's after it just kind of like tones it down a little bit I really like it really like how it looks but anyway that's just me if you guys don't like any of these certain things obviously you can uh, tweak it to the to what you like and yeah Anyway, next thing, the final part of the color correcting, which is the kind of like the cool glow stuff that I add, that um, the glow really, really helps out. This is from uh, the BCC, the Boris Continuum Complete, uh, something like that. It's uh, BCC 9, that's what I have. So uh, you can, it's another third party plugin. There's a bunch of different plugins that come with BCC. You can see there's a shit ton of them I'm just scrolling through. But I use BCC Film Glow. So I just type it out. There it is. BCC film glow and that is on its own separate layer and you can see like right when I drag it on it's I'm like what the hell is this shit I'm like I don't it looks stupid but what I do is it's gonna look crazy for a moment you change the glow intensity to like 300 then press tab the glow radius set that to like 200 and you can see like now the composition's fucking white I'm like what the hell are you doing and then for the glow threshold you're gonna turn that all the way up to 100 and then what I usually do is I just go find the color it won't pop up on a different screen you change the glow color to like the pinky purple whatever you're going for I think it was like more I'm gonna go with like a little yeah something like that just pretty fine um, and click OK and change the color and then you just turn down the threshold until you get a little bit of glow but nothing crazy like obviously this would be a little much some people do like these really heavily glowy color corrections and like that's all right but I usually go with something like like 75 so you can't even really see if I turn it off and on you can see there's a little bit of glow like up here at the top where it's really bright but where you really start to notice it is on like other clips like what's that? like that you can really notice it there if I turn it off and on it's low because of how bright this clip is so 75 I'm gonna even go a little higher go to like 85 and you can still you can still kind of tell but it's not completely like only on the really bright parts and that is where we're going to get into these colored flashes so i'm just gonna set my subject area to right around this clip zoom in here and let's take a look at the flashes where does it start okay it starts right at this cinematic perfect so we're just gonna go here and make sure that we are using the same location just go to here to the cinematic and then zoom in and get to work Whoop. There we go. So now that we have this clip, this is the clip that we're going to be adding the flashes to. Um, all obviously, like I've already edited this entire thing, so all these other clips already have their flashes and stuff. Um, but what we're going to do is click on the clip, and then we're going to go to levels, which I talked about earlier. And this is how I pretty much add all of the flashes, dark flashes and light flashes throughout this entire clip. So we're going to first quickly drag in levels. Go over here, drag it over here. I had to that again, man. I need to get some audio going through here. Anyway, so now since I, I usually have the song right here so you'll be able to see it, the song is way up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this clip up to the top real quick just so I can look at the song and compare it. Oh, phone's going off. Anyway, so here we are. Let's just take a quick listen. Listen, you're trying to be different, that makes you not different. They say I just rap about women, that's coming from links who just never get women, the best is a giving. So yeah, that's that's what the song sounds like. You can see I have the beats marked out up here. Now I already added levels, so what I'm gonna start by doing is pull up S so I can pull up the uh, pan crop and just look at where the shots are. So you can see, oh there's clips here too. Didn't two parts of this clip. Because I did the color change. Anyway, we'll just we'll just do this part. 
So what I'm going to start by doing is go to all of the shots and just start by keyframing it 255 then go one frame forward and lower it to like 200. You can see that'll make it really bright. Maybe you can lower it a bit more, like 180. I usually don't go lower than 180. That's like as bright as I make it. And what Levels basically does is when you're lowering the input white, it makes the whites whiter or brighter and it makes like the darks, it doesn't really have an effect on them. So instead of just making the entire screen like flash, it, it takes the bright parts of the screen and it makes them kind of brighten up more, even more while leaving alone the uh, darker parts of the screen. So that, that's how you get that kind of like, like flash effect. And like you, saw, like you saw earlier from the BCC Film Glow, if I click back over here, you can see you really start to notice the glow when the light parts of the screen are flashing and that's what it kind of gets the kind of gets the purple to come out with levels like levels brightens up the screen and that makes it so the purple can come out more and basically what you're going to do is just press u and then you can see you have your levels the histogram right here and you just copy and paste the keyframes all throughout the composition so i'm just going to put it on every shot right here at the end and you can hear at the end there's a few beats you can listen to after the last one so I usually put some flashes there. So when when it's slow motioned, it's nice. You can see a lot of just different colored flashes um, with the pink, and it, it really complements the complements the edit as a whole. I think the the glow at least. And then for some of these other ones, you can see I had like a like a, a bunch of dark flashes here. Um, and basically for dark flashes. Um, it, it doesn't really implement or it doesn't really affect the color correction that much but what I tend to do is I set it back to 255 255 is like the default there's nothing changed here and then one frame forward and instead of going down to make it brighter I just go up to make it darker so I usually go to like 355 to darken it out instead of instead of going um, th or instead of going down to make it brighter you just you just go up and I usually set it to like 355 and I'll copy and paste that and we'll see right here right here right here those are not perfectly spaced out so you obviously gonna want to make sure you have the keyframes in the right spot but uh yeah as you can see be different, that makes you, not you can hear the little be different, that makes you, not but, you know so now when i pre-compose or not pre-compose when i ran preview this you'll see the flashes i got no time to listen you're trying to be different that makes you not different they say i just rap i got no time to listen you're trying to be different that makes you not you can see the like flashes just kind of Go with the song and it looks kind of cool and then obviously yeah, you can see when it gets brighter you can't really tell in this composition but when you go back to the final composition where you've added your rsmb your color correction your black bars everything and you ramp preview that it'll take a little while you'll start to see the color kind of coming out with the flashes and it honestly it just re looks really nice um so yeah that's basically how i do that stuff i'll just show you guys a little random preview here at the end in a moment um i'll let it let it preview out but yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, be sure to leave a like. Um, it would be crazy if we get like 250 likes on this. Um, that's asking a lot, but I don't know. Sometimes these videos tend to do really well. And if you want to see more of them, obviously leave a like. If you're going to do something like this for your color correction, let me know uh, Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. Maybe give me some, some suggestions for what you want as the next tutorial. And yeah, uh, I think that's about it. I'll just let this finish out the random preview. And yeah, thanks a ton. And you're trying to be different, that makes you not different They say I just rap about women, that's coming from links who just never get...